live. Yo guys, this is Anger Fist and you're listening to Keeping the Rave Alive. Scream if you want to go faster. Cause you're in with the one like Kratzky. Oi Kratzky, your name's not down. You're not coming in. Show me some groupie love. Stepping up to the ones and twos, the main man, Kutsky, keeping the rave alive. Yo guys, this is Cool, and you're listening to Kutsky. Hey, this is MC The Syndrome, representing Hardstyle. Kutsky, keeping the rave alive. Hey, this is Adero, keeping the rave alive with Kutsky. Are you ready for the rave? Yes, welcome back to Keeping the Rave Alive, the start of our retrospective special, as I mentioned on the show over the last couple of weeks. Me and my missus are just expecting our second little baby, a little baby girl, any day now at the moment. So I guess this will be the last show when I'm only the parent of one child. As I'm sure many of you know, it's a busy time the first um, month or two. So to get ahead of myself with work, because I don't want to leave you hanging without any shows, do I? What I've done is I've put together retrospectives of 10 of my favourite record labels of all time across the full spectrum of the harder styles of dance music and we're going to run a different one each week. I thought to kick things off we would go with what's definitely my favourite happy hardcore record label of all time and quite possibly my favourite label of all time at full stop. Before we get into that, I just want to thank everybody supporting me over on Patreon. As always, if you enjoyed this show and you would like to support me with what I do on it and get extra content, extra shows in your life as well, patreon.com slash KTRA is the place to do it. The link is in the description and I do appreciate everybody supporting me over on there. Right, okay, the first retrospective, taking you back to that 90s Dutch happy hardcore sound. I grew up in the north of England, so I had the influences of the UK happy hardcore sound coming from down south, the breakbeats, the likes of Slipmat, Hixie, Dougal, but I also got the influences from up in Scotland, events like Resurrection, where many of the Dutch DJs were playing. I loved the balance between the cheesy, happy music and also the hard, banging, high BPM, distorted kick drums. And that was exactly the sound that the record label we're covering today represents. So for the next hour, we're going to jump into the mix non-stop with a retrospective of the classic Happy Hardcore Pengo Records in the mix here on Keeping the Rave Alive. Together, 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 together
song too.
I can see all the stars just shine on me when I dream a little fantasy. When I fly in the sky with a bird so high, and it makes me feel like ecstasy. I can see all the stars just shine on me when I dream a little fantasy. When I fly in the sky with a bird so high, and it makes me feel like ecstasy. Feels like ecstasy in my fantasy. Will this feeling last forever? When I dream a little fantasy. Na 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 na
Yes, this has just reaffirmed in my mind how much I love this record label. For the last hour, you've been in tune to the sounds of Pengo Records' 90s happy hardcore at its finest. A little retrospective by myself, Kutsky. Hope you enjoyed the mix. We've got plenty more of these to come in the coming weeks. I'll be covering hard house labels, UK hardcore labels, some early hard style, some hard trance. There's plenty to cover. Ten retrospectives by myself. But before we get out of here, as always, it's time for that one last track, the final vinyl. Okay, we were pushing the BPMs before, you know, up to around 190 BPM, but still keeping things happy. We're going to finish up the show with the hardest and fastest record on the Pengo record labels. Clocking in at 205 BPM, we're finishing up the show with three steps ahead and so much trouble. And just before we let it run, as always, I want to thank the people that have very generously supported me with the virtual beers over the last week. That's basically just the tip system on the show. If you've enjoyed the mix and you're thinking, yeah, if Kutsky came around with his Pengo Records collection, played a cheeky little set round at my house, I'd let him have a beer. Uh, you can do so virtually. That helps me out a lot with things like server costs involved with the show and the fact that I'm not playing any gigs at the moment because I'm at home being Daddy DJ. <laughs> the website to do that, if you're so inclined, is beer.keepingtheravealive.com. I'll drop the link in the description. I want to say a big shout out to Jamie Claude. Thank you very much for the continued support there, Jamie. Big up to Malcolm saying great tunes, Kutsky, and good luck with the birth of your second child. The second one's always easier. Well, it was for me and my wife. I'll hold you to that, Malcolm. If it's not, I'll come round and you can come and do some babysitting for me. But thanks for the support, mate. Do really appreciate that. Also, a big shout out to Ross B saying cheers for the tunes, dude. Any chance of some activator? I'll put a pin in that one, mate. Once we get back to the usual show format, we can definitely do some activator and uh, you can go back with Adam in the guest mix before he moved on to be T78 doing techno which I don't know whether you knew about so yeah thank you very much Ross I'll get back to you about the activator stuff and lastly a big shout out to another supporter of mine Blow Up Dave thanks very much mate do appreciate the continued support there once again the link is beer.keepingtheravealive.com if you would like to support me and I can show you some love at the end of the show next week but right about now we let it run the final track from my Pengo record retrospective. I will catch you back on the show same time, same place next week. Until then, it's Kutsky signing out. Keeping the rave alive. Now this happens to be me, Jay Kutsky, taking you back to the old school.
trouble, so much trouble. 